If you actually pause and listen to the words that the narcissistic abuser in your life is saying to you in any interaction you're having with them, you will notice they are not actually saying anything really of substance. They're just stringing together a bunch of words in order to manipulate you. Sure, sometimes what they're saying might be rooted in some form of truth, but there's always a manipulation tactic going on. And if you don't believe me, that's okay. You can see it for yourself the next time you have an interaction with the narcissist in your life. Their behavior is very predictable once you know what to look out for. So look out for love bomb and devalue. That's really how they're gonna be communicating with you either way. So if they are love bombing you, this is anything that sounds like it makes sense or you know anything that you wanna hear, could be some compliments. It just really depends on the dynamic in your relationship with this person. But the whole point of this love bombing is to gain your trust. Once they're satisfied that they've gained your trust, that's when the devaluation is going to start. So that's when the guilt tripping will start. That's when the gaslighting will start, the insults, the underhanded, you know, very subtle sort of things that they say. And the only purpose to them saying anything that they're saying is to get supply out of you. Their manipulation tactics invoke so much emotion within you that gets you into that bamboozled state where you're confused and you really have invested so much trust and belief and value into what they're saying that that's how the cycle continues. This is why when you're a survivor of narcissistic abuse, it's so important to start doing your own inner emotional work on your own, away from the narcissist obviously, and just sort of get in touch with your emotional world and understand how you feel. Feelings are not facts, so if you feel like allowing yourself to process that emotion will help you to release that emotion and that will create so much space in you know your your brain there so that you'll be able to actually see things more clearly but those repressed emotions distort what you're seeing because you're so focused on you know whatever the narcissist is saying so if they're trying to make you feel guilty you're so focused on how much of an you are because you did this really bad thing when in reality this person's just trying to manipulate you so when you process that guilt allow yourself to feel it the rational part of your brain will come through and notify you that wait a minute this is actually a manipulation tactic and not a fact that you're a really bad person because you're trying to protect your sanity but this person just wants to get supply out of you and of course, doing this inner work and becoming an observer and being a gray rock champion is not an overnight process. It does take doing the inner work in baby steps one day at a time. And if you don't want to do this inner work alone, I have a brand new community membership for survivors of narcissistic abuse. It starts at only $22 per month. There's a bunch of resources and live events. Link in bio for details.